so it's Monday and I'm trying to make a video for this getting back to running so getting back to running has had quite a few hiccups along the way it's certainly not been as straightforward as I was hoping it would be but I'm out today short run probably about three and a half K and that's a weird thing I'm now dealing in K instead of miles what's that all about I've changed the habits of a lifetime and I've moved from thinking and recording everything in miles to doing stuff in K instead why on earth have I done that So why have I started working everything out in K? Well I thought, seeing as though I'm having to start my running basically from scratch when I say from scratch, it's like when I started running I could run further and quicker than I can at the moment so I'm definitely starting right at the front front? the back <laughs> so I thought I'd try something different lots of other folk seem to work in kilometers so I thought I'd give it a go so I've changed all my settings on my watches Strava treadmill everything's in K and I'm trying to think in K which is proven to be tricky because <laughs> after a long time working everything out in miles it's quite hard just swapping totally to kilometers the advantage I'm kind of seeing so far but I've not been doing it very long is everything shorter so if you do have a slightly quicker effort you can kind of record it and gauge it a bit easier on kilometers and it's not lost in a mile now this is the first run I've done for about 10 days and the reason for that is because about 10 days ago, I felt a sharp pain in my side. So I've totally eased off any runs uh, and walks. I did uh, hardly anything at all last week. I got in touch with the hospital like they told me to. Uh, dropped them an email a uh, day or two after I had the sharp pains and it wasn't clearing up. Um, still waiting on a reply from the email. That was, oh, as I say, 10 days ago, the pain. So about nine days ago. <laughs> well done hospital. Been in touch with the doctors and I have an appointment uh, on Friday. So that'll be a two week wait to get a, a doctor's appointment as well. So I've taken it easy for the past week, uh, cut back on walks, runs, or totally. And I've started uh, back up again very gradually um, yesterday and today. Went for a short walk yesterday and very short run today. I can still feel pain in my side. Uh, it's not as bad as it was, so it has eased. So resting it has definitely helped. Uh, but I am so keen to get back on things. So it'll be good to see the doctor, get a bit more advice. And in the meantime, yeah, just take it easy and do things gradually. So I'll head out again tomorrow and I'll do something nice and short, but I'll go out with Jake. Uh, just to make sure someone's with me and I might try and take the drone with me as well. So we drove up the hill to fly the drone to test out some new ND filters and this is what we've got. Basically, cloud and rain. So we're going to go and drive somewhere else instead.
Now I'm not off for a run with Jake to the Charlemagne Gap. He's never been there before and there's a little hill behind it. So we're gonna go there and go up the hill. He's just ran ahead because he's got the drone and he's gonna go to the top of this bit up here. And then he'll wave to me, hopefully. <laughs> And then I'll run down over a bridge and hopefully we'll get some decent footage. And along the way, we'll stop and swap a few times. So I'll fly the drone to him. He'll fly the drone to me. It's a gorgeous day. So hopefully we'll get some really nice footage. And yeah, let's see how we go. See, I'll just have to sit here in the sun for a bit whilst Jake gets up that, that hilly bit. He's behind the trees somewhere at the moment, but I should see him soon. I can just about see his head appearing. I can see the drone, so he is in flight. Let's give him a minute to get his bearings and get used to flying it. I don't want to set off too soon. And there's a family down here just by the, by the bridge, so hopefully they don't get annoyed with the drone flying over. The drone is up over there somewhere. So there's been loads of stop starting. Uh, Jake's up up the top. Oh, blimey. <laughs> Balanced on a rock here. It's fairly big rock, so I shouldn't lose my foot in, but knowing me. So Jake's up there, he's just gathering the drone, he's gonna come back down. It's a gorgeous day. It's just we've been trying different ND filters. So hopefully uh, we're getting the right footage. Because I have been using the drone on auto mode. But we're delving into the pro settings changing the isos and frame rates and everything and putting on different filters so i'm um, just hoping that this footage actually comes out well we'll find out later on today we just met another guy up the top there uh he said hello he took some pictures said he was gonna comment on the channel he had his dji air 2s i think it was so he's been out flying above our drone <laughs> filming us filming <laughs> so hi nice to meet you here comes Jake. That's us just coming into the, the start of the Chalamet Gap, so just round another couple of corners and it's Boulder Central. Boulder -esque. Quite boulder esque is Jake Jake's description. What do you think, Jake? Boulder, yeah, it's very bouldery. Very bouldery. Um, the path has just disappeared. Yeah. And now it carries on like this for a fair while over this ride and then a fair bit further again. So let's get going. It's just ooh, picking a line. There is no <laughs> Come on, Mr. Mountain Goat. I'm not a mountain goat, as is being demonstrated well. <laughs> All right, we've had a snack. I've flown the drone for a bit. So now we're going to carry on down that way and then go up the top of here and then we'll either come back this way or we'll just make our own route that way. Jake's having to go in sport mode so he's basically just flying the drone around as quickly as he can, like a lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> Jigs in control, it's going anywhere. <laughs> and then quickly now, here it comes. Whoa.
So we're going to head back now. So which way do you want to go, Jake? <laughs> Ask me now. <laughs> <laughs> now you got a mouth full of food. <laughs> do you want to go back to Charlemagne Gap, or we just make our own route and go that way? You can make our own route. That's what I was hoping Trying you were going to say. A loop, yeah. Exactly. Now we'll do that. Okay. We shall go that way. You'd think this would be easier than the Charlemagne Gap, but man alive, your foot disappears every single <laughs> every single step. <laughs> There's just no evenness to this at all. 60 degree angle. 60 degree angle slope. I don't know if this picks up on the camera, but it's fairly steep. <laughs> That's us back of the car. So I've got eight point four five kilometers uh, Jake's got 7.62 7.62 but we, we did do a bit of backwards and forward and separately absolutely knackered legs knackered I'm knackered let's hope this footage turned out well see you later